everyone and welcome back to my channel. In the UK there's a new drink called like the Flamingo Starbucks drink and it's like a really nice pink looking drink like it literally looks insane. Today I'm actually going to be going and trying it. I'm going to be recreating the drink as well so I will be trying to replicate it for probably a very very small smidget of the price because Starbucks is not the cheapest place to go for a drink. Fingers crossed it works it could be a big big flop if you like these kinds of videos please give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you've tried this drink or if you're going to recreate this drink and make sure to follow me on all my social medias as well i'll put them on the screen now let's get straight into the video and yeah let's get driving because it is quite a far drive just to go for one drink okay we've arrived at starbucks there's actually a massive queue because starbucks is really popular you know very popular oh sorry <laughs> Every, yeah it's quite a long queue but i mean we traveled far for it so we might as well stay for the queue now and i saw that they definitely do it at this one because i was worried that they didn't even do it it's currently the queue situation it goes all the way around that way as well <laughs> it's windy it was sticking to my lips aren't we having what the one in front has that was another video i can't believe people queuing here for a coffee <laughs> it is kind of crazy that people queue for like a drink but i mean we are part of that queue now maybe that's what people want to do in lockdown occupy themselves in queues yeah that's the drink i'm getting ruby chocolate pieces pink whipped cream raspberry syrup yes. oh mum 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 where is it oh it mustn't be or is it that Oh. <laughs> I get the um is it the ruby frappuccino the flamingo one? The strawberry frappuccino? The flamingo one? Oh sorry we ran out of that one. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! You can't make something up that's almost the same. So right that's we won't get anything. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank sorry. you. Thanks. Well that was All a massive, ones. massive flop. That is a massive <laughs> flop. Take two, let's hope they have it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Your hair! I was so stressed that that wasn't going to get this. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> no! No! Wait. Quick, because it's going to melt. Put your sunglasses on. Quick! What do you mean quick? <laughs> oh. There we go. We finally got the drink. I don't understand how long this has taken me to get. Drive through, ran out of the ingredients because it was so popular. So yeah, I'm going to quickly try this now, otherwise it's literally going to melt. This is what it's looking like. It is very pink, isn't it? Yeah, it is very, very pink. I feel like the Chicken camera's pink. not showing it how pink it is, but it is super, super pink. So I finally try it. It's really weird. It's very milky. Mm. It's like milky and a little bit fruity. <laughs> Wanna try some? No. No, you try some. I've got I've a got straw. Yeah, that's it. That's all right. I don't mind if another straw. I've not got the coronavirus. Mmm, <laughs> got little bits in it. Try the bottom. Does it bit. taste a bit Maybe black carranty? I don't know why. Is it black currant? I like the top bit. It's quite a tasty. I feel like if you're getting this, you're just getting it for the picture, really, aren't yeah. you? I feel like it does taste good, but I'd probably rather like the chocolate mm. frappuccino or like the cookies and cream one, isn't it? I can taste them little bits now, but I think mm. it's separated. I think it tastes of raspberries. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Quite so raspberry. I wouldn't say it is yeah, I do. Raspberry. I think I can feel it's. It's fruity. Fruits, yeah. It's fruity, but I wouldn't mm. say specifically raspberry. I actually asked them if we could try some of the ruby chocolate chips because I need them for making it. <laughs> and plus, I just wanted to try some. So they put them in this little cup, but they are the actual ruby chocolate chips. They're a bit weird. Yeah, I want to try some of these chocolatey bits. I think that's nice. Get all the bit. Don't you get all no. chocolate? <gasps> oh my god! You've got so much chocolate in your mouth! Little bit. I don't have that. All Not when time. I drink it. All the time. I get lots of the chocolate. Oh, isn't there? You just feel it. More so now. Maybe mm. it's getting all left mm. at the bottom. That's what I don't think I like. I just tried them. I like them. I'm not a strawberry I think person. Quite nice. I don't really like a lot of strawberry I do stuff. Like I'd rather chocolate or caramels. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Starbucks. Overview of the drink. It is fruity. It just looks pretty. Mm. I feel like if it wasn't pink, no mm. one would buy it. But like if it was like brown, no one would buy this out of the flavour. I guess well, it's, it's summery. It's isn't it? I know what you mean pink. now about the bits in it. You like it. I think Starbucks mm. is overpriced anyway. Hopefully, when I make one, 
it's gonna be like a fraction of the price it's gonna be like 30p to make <laughs> and this was like four pounds so it? it was four pound fifteen I've saved the cup from it just so I know like the measurements as to actually make it look real and like, realistic. Onto the Starbucks website and looked through like the ingredients and to be fair most of them I could get like whole milk ice, raspberry syrup I could get. There was one thing called a frappuccino cream like I think it's Starbucks like secret like own this recipe thing that they do. It's up what it actually is, what the frappuccino cream is. And it's basically like a thickener. So I went and I tried to find something called xanthan gum, which is something that's within this Starbucks concoction. I didn't even have it in stock. So I then just thought I'll get like an ice cream type thing. So I just bought like raspberry sorbet and hopefully that will act as like a thickener. The thing that's actually in it is the ruby chocolate which is something that i've never really heard of before but i know that quite a lot of companies are bringing it in like there's the ruby magnum and things basically went into starbucks and just asked if i could like take some away to try because i am actually honestly like intrigued to try like i was intrigued to try it in the first place but obviously i am going to be putting it into the drink as well you can buy it online but i literally decided to do this video not that long ago so i needed to get some quickly it is ruby chocolate it's actually pretty cool it's like pink chocolate I've got cream here and i'm just gonna put i don't even know how much to put in but i'm gonna put a fair amount in i might as well just do it all so i tried to look up what ras like where you could get raspberry syrup and the only one that kept coming up was this brand i got this from sainsbury's but you can get it from like asda or anywhere i just went searching for this in like the drinks aisle the bacon aisle because it's like a syrup couldn't find it anywhere and finally got someone to help me I didn't know where it was either and she found it in the polish aisle so if you're trying to find this, it's in the Polish aisle, which is really unusual. I'm guessing it's made in Poland. So that's raspberry syrup here, and it does look good. Like, hopefully this is going to give it some colour. This could go awfully wrong, because this is kind of what I'm relying on to make the colour. Oh my god. That is so strong. Put like a tablespoon of this in. I might add it little bit by little bit. That looks so good. Oh my god, this could actually work. It's so much more pink in real life, but it's actually worked. I added about like however much that is, so not too much. This, this bottle was only £1.50. Now I'm just gonna whisk this all together to make it into whipped cream. I feel like that's quite whipped, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to over whip it. A bit more in just to get that colour. I've got the cup here, and I'm basically just going to pour whole milk in it. I don't want to fill it up to here or here. I'm not sure. I might fill it up to the top one. Fill it to that level first. This much milk in it. I don't know if that is too much milk or not. Say they put three pumps of raspberry syrup in it, so I'm just going to say that's like around three tablespoons, like one pump, two pumps. Pump. A little bit of a wishy-washy pink, so I think I'm just going to keep adding it. That's fairly bright pink, like in comparison to my top, that is quite a bright pink. I'm going to put in these little pink cocoa, what are they called, ruby chocolate. So I'm going to sprinkle them in there. Put in the thickener, which is supposedly their like frappuccino cream mix that they put in. I'm improvising with raspberry sorbet. Oh god, how do you get into this? Oh, there we go. Wow, that was so hard to get into. That looks so satisfying. Look at that. Wow. A little bit of this, not too much. Because I can always add more. That is the key. Then I'm going to finish it off with some ice and just fill it up to have the top now with ice. So cold on my hands. Ow. So that's what it's going to look like. And then I'm just going to put this into the blender. But it's looking pretty promising at the moment. Just pour that all into there. And now I'm going to put it all together and blend it. So let's hope for the best. I think we need. That smells so much like it. Let's add some more ice because I think it needs a bit of thicker. Let's go again. Another big scoop of that. I'm also just going to add like a little drizzle of that again. Put this all together again. How about looking this? There we go. Into there. Oh. Oh no, I made way too much. 
Oh my god, that actually looks so good. Looks so like theirs. Please tell me that that does not look like theirs. That looks so good. Popped the like whipped cream into a bag and now I'm just going to pipe it on. Oh, oh no. so proud of myself i made this this looks like the starbucks frappuccino i'm so chuffed with myself that actually looks exactly couldn't have been any better slightly uh, slightly creamier at the top yeah they have more the, cream I yeah think. A bit, but i think there's more need whipping that on. smashed it <laughs> yeah that's definitely <laughs> looks exactly like the same right yeah, that is it finished i'm actually so proud of myself <laughs> Yeah, it's still got that separation, which is what theirs had. I want to try it now. Look at that. They have more like whippy cream on top, but because I whipped it myself, it wasn't like squirty or anything. Let's try the drink. Also, I have got a glass straw, you know, good for the environment. Oh my God. You know, I was kind of winging this. Kind of brought all different ingredients. That tastes so much like it. The whipped cream is stronger than their whipped cream. Like the whipped cream of this is more raspberry tasting than theirs, which I don't mind. And also it's a lot thicker than their cream because theirs is probably like squirty. But this drink tastes so much like, I don't know why I keep tapping this. This tastes so much like it. I need to get my mum to try this because honestly, if you don't want to spend four pounds on a drink, all of these ingredients together, it costs four pounds and you can make multiple of these. <laughs> I want my own straw. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it tastes very much the same. I haven't got all the bits in my mouth, which is good. No bits in my mouth. Smashed very it. good. Yeah, a bit more flavour. A bit thicker. Yeah, I know. That thicker. would be the only thing I would say. Bit of a thicker top. Not so many bits. So do you think I should open my own Starbucks? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm going to now enjoy this. I've had so many calories of Starbucks because this is probably like, I'm pretty sure theirs was like 600 calories or something, which is insane for a drink. And now I've had two of them in one day. Yes, that was me recreating the famous pink ruby flamingo Starbucks drink. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you think that I smashed it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, comment if you want to do any more videos like this, comment if you recreate it and tag me on Instagram if you recreate it as well, that would be cool. We'll see you in my next video. Bye!